What's going on and welcome to Space Lines from the Far Out, where we are going to see what the heck this game is. Uh, full disclosure, I actually started this game and I played about 30 seconds of it. I, I didn't even actually get into the game. I just started the tutorial and I immediately thought I need to start recording this game because uh, if it is what I think it is, I'm going to have a hard time. So we'll see. It reminded me of, without playing any of it, literally any of it, Overcooked in Space, which made me dread my own existence. It's one of the few games that actually um, can drive me insane. So on that note, let's see what's going on. Arthur, greetings applicant. Congratulations. You are one of the lucky few who have been selected by our company's recruitment system for having the remarkable qualities. No risk of liability, not likely to sue, desperate for em employment. Wow, what a champ. Before we start, I should tell you this tutorial is single player only. After we're done, other local players will be able to join. You are about to embark on the glamorous world of passenger space flights. But before you get to fly a real space liner and see the universe, you must first go through our company's rigid training procedures. The whole 15 minutes of it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the autonomous recruit trainer and highly unaggressive robot, or Arthur 9001. Operating a vessel like this is a no trivial task. So. I will be in full control of the ship while I guide you through the training steps. Also, I can assure you that while I am quite capable of doing so, I will not attempt to murder you, unlike former models of the 9000 series. Shall we start? First, it is company policy that I check if you are indeed a sentient life form, as you indicated on your resume. If you can understand me, please indicate. Here are the game's controls. If you need, you can always check this again in the employee manual inside the pause menu. Move around. Um, I will take that as a yes. Now, I need to assess your motor skills. I'll be applying the directionally activated nimbleness and cadence examination, or dance for short. Think you can do that. Uh, dance. Uh, oh, I can't. Right. A left. A right. A left. Nice moves, applicant. Now, let's start talking about your ship's systems. Enabling power system. This is your ship's power system, responsible for energizing all other systems. As you can see, currently your propulsion system is not turned on. In order to start the engines, interact with the reactor. Manage power. While interacting with the power system, you can manage which of your ship's systems are turned on. You can also see how many power, power slots each system consumes. Now turn on the propulsion system. Sure, I will turn it on. Good work, applicant. Now your ship is moving. Cool. Leave power system. Running fuel tank diagnostics. This is your fuel gauge. It displays how much propellant your engines still have left. Under no circumstances should you let your fuel run out in the middle of a flight. Enabling additional systems. Do, 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 do. Ooh, whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. That machine is your gravity generator, but it seems to have short-circuited. I would fix it myself, but for some reason the company decided to not give my model any arms, capable of holding heavy blunt objects. Enabling maintenance system. Ooh, what do we got over here? That is our standard issue advanced spacecraft maintenance system. We can use it to fix the gravity generator. First, grab the wrench. Now, use it to repair the gravity system. I'm on my way, gravity system. Repairing. 
good work, applicant. This is a good time to let you know that if you were to land on your head while reactivating gravity, you should try to remain conscious long enough to sign one of our workplace injury liability waivers, which can be quickly found in all overhead compartments. With that out of the way, you now you need to be able to steer this vessel. Enabling piloting system. What's that? Ooh, I want to be the pilot. This is your piloting system. Although I am much more qualified to do it, company policy insists only biological employees can operate the helm, so have a go. Put away my wrench. To the helm! Steer. Throttle up, baby! Throttle down. Oh no. Nice work, applicant. According to company policy, that should be enough flying to certify you as a pilot. Congratulations. Now, let's continue to the next lesson. Leave the helm. Enabling navigation system. This is your radar screen. It will passively detect and identify nearby objects in space. As a matter of fact, there seems to be an object coming right at us. Oh, let's look at it in more detail, shall we? Oh, Jesus! Well, that was unfortunate. Running ship diagnostics. Seems that the reactor is broken and the ship has lost power. Good thing my internal battery makes it impossible to shut me off. Checking external damage. This is your hull integrity gauge. Unless you intend to explosively disassemble this vessel, the company recommends keeping this at maximum. Seems that the asteroid collision has damaged our hull. This this is bad news for my evaluations. We were about to conclude the training, but I'm afraid I can't let you do that, applicant. You have to help me fix this. Quickly, let's first fix the reactor. Go get our thingy. Pick it up. Swim back over. And fix my space truck. Nice work! Now, unfortunately, we can't repair the hull from inside, so we're going to need to find a service station. For that, we must use the radar's long-range scope. I think I have to go put this back. All right, all right. While operating the radar, you can point and fire its long-range signal. Use it to identify distant objects. Aim scope. Oh, nice. Good work. Now look for a nearby service station. There it is! Now you know how to find one. Now, in order to dock with the station, you must approach it and establish communications. Well... Like, let me control. Enabling communication systems. Well, shoot, dude. This is your communication system. You can use it to dock with nearby stations. Let's test it out. Find and approach the service station. Hard right, hard right, hard right. Full steam ahead. Uh, I just hit duck. Duck. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I'll answer your phone call in a second. Nice work. Now let's repair this damage. Deploying company funds. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, contact them and hire the whole repair service. Uh, yes, hole for 50 bucks. Please and thank you. Beautiful. Excellent work, applicant. Now, I won't be decommissioned for damaging the company property. Now, to your final task, we must return to home base. I have added the destination marker to your radar to screen. Expand it in order to see it. There it is! Now all you have to do is follow that direction and arrive in one piece. Let's get on the... This way. Alright, we'll go back on the radar and we can pop out a scan. What is it? You know, what are we flying past here? Let's see if we can't find out. Can we call them? Don't exactly know how it works. Let's see. 
I mean, we're pretty close. Okay. What's up? Earn your wings. Survive the tutorial. Congratulations, applicant. This concludes your training, making you a proud new member of our Spaceline crew. Oh, just one last thing. Please don't mention our little asteroid situation to anyone. Wouldn't want other potentially worse accidents happening to your ship, would we? Are we understood, applicant? Alrighty then. Well, welcome aboard. All right, crazy robot. I appreciate your time and your efforts. Budgets, glory, and starways. Okay, so it's not exactly like overcooked. Welcome back. Now that you've learned the basics, it's time for your final test. Flying real passengers. There's a route from here to our company HQ at the end of the Zeta sector. Which shouldn't be a challenge for a trained employer like yourself. At least I hope so. I've made some changes to the training ship. It should be good enough for the task. All you have to do is embark. Oh, now other local players can join your game too. Now, go make us proud. Godspeed. All right, weird robot. I do not want to replay your tutorial. Uh, the employee manual. Cool, we got uh, all kinds of cool stuff over here. What about like settings? Can't can't adjust settings. All right, we can here. Now I know this is nitpicky. Okay, I want a 60 frames per second mode. All right, now I don't feel like it's too much to ask. Maybe I'm being maybe I'm being picky. Okay, well, let's embark on our journey and see what this game's got in store for us, shall we? <laughs> I always do love flying in space. Let's go ahead and sing some jaunty tunes. This is your star map where you can plot a course to your destination. You can see how far you are from it as well as relevant information about your next connection. There seems to be a layover between the school and the terminal. Now choose the connection and get ready for takeoff. You are here. This is where you want to go. Confirm! Weather to report, no weather. Uh, I can't tell if that means those stops are there or no stops. We have uh, two flight passengers. Standard economy, ticket price 16. Let's go, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Have a safe trip. Thank you so much for stopping by at the Air Academy. Please be respectful when putting the lives of others in your hands. Have a wonderful day. Nice. Okay. Seems like we have a passenger on board. Try to keep cool. Passengers are the bread and butter of what we do. They're what keeps us in business, even though they can get a bit demandy. This is where you can see a passenger's various needs. If it's blue, it's not bothering them yet. If it's orange, it will start affecting their evaluation of our company. If it's red, they need your immediate attention, or else something bad might happen. Just remember... The customer is always right, except when they try to sue us. Then they are certainly wrong. It seems that your passengers are getting hungry. You can feed them by cooking the meal packets from your catering system. I have a catering system? Oh, jeez. Are they getting hungry? How do I tell? Uh, no, 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 I need the food feed you so I already hate how I examine them is there a better way to examine them without actually going over and clicking on them immediately I'm like this is a huge gameplay oversight the old passengers are requesting some form of in-flight entertainment if you have no entertainment system you could try to charm them with those dance moves you've got how did I dance? I mean, I guess we'll dance. I mean, let's get it. Get it. Oh, dude, we're getting it now. All right, they don't care anymore. All right. So you have nothing that's wrong right now. You're starting to get a little bit hungry, but you're not that hungry. Uh, What are we about to fly into? What 
What is it? Can I hail them? Oh, that's it. That's the whole job. Complete our first route. Okay. I was really on board with the game until I had to start taking care of the flight flying tourists. It's like overcooked, but I'm also like maintaining the entire restaurant. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's next, shall we? As we take on any job that budget Scorpion Airways will throw our way. Congratulations! You've just reached your first connection spaceport. This is where your game saves. You can now relax a bit or go ahead and embark to the next route. Sure, we'll go to the next route. Goodbye, friends. Are you coming with me or are you staying here? Okay, now we're headed to Delta Tau Y. Distance 519 AU. Convenient outpost somewhere in the Delta sector. Two passengers, let's go. There is a stop this time. I see it right there. I don't know what it is, but there is a stop. So what's the loop of the game? Is this is like a story mode? Is it like a, like a get as far as you can, do everything you can kind of thing? Oh, you want uh, entertainment? I guess I can bust out some freaking moves, dog. What's up? What's up? And we'll get a little down. And get a little down. Get a little down. Get a little down. All right, you happy now? Now you're starting to get hungry. What about you? You're fine. Let's uh, let's go check out this. We need to turn. Let's hit the uh, let's hit the throttle a little bit. Why go so slow? You know. Maybe that'll give us more star points. Is that how that works? Oh, it is using our fuel very rapidly. He wants food. Oh, shoot. Don't worry, dude. I'm cooking up you some food. I'm cooking up some food. I'm cooking up some food. Don't, you, don't even worry about it. All right. And then we'll go ahead and cook you. I do want to head towards whatever this is. Hit him with some food. All right, he's doing good. He's doing good. We're about to arrive. I'm running out of fuel. You must find a refueling station immediately. Well, I think we found the end of the level, if that helps. Ah, uh, it was just right there. Dude, I could have totally gone and investigated whatever that meatball is. Well, it's okay. Well, it's okay. Ooh, ticket price plus 30%. Let's do it. Next. Next, I want I need some like I want some some kind of like over systems like am I working for a company that I can like Put money into or stuff like that. And like, okay, here we go. Here we go. We're at a nice facility now We're at the service station Ah, Okay, I see so we're gonna want some fuel. How do I talk to you? Uh, I'm sorry was I carrying you? Oh, that's my bad, dude. What's up? I'd like to refuel the ship. $45? Jeez. Repair. 70? My hull's not even damaged. Nothing to clean. I guess... Oh, we can choose how much fuel we want. Let's see. Hook me up with that uh, $57, 70% fuel. I'll take it. That should be almost full. It wasn't. It was not as almost full as I thought it would be. It was 70% of my available amount, not 70% in total. Okay, I understand. We got two things of fuel. Let's embark. Hopefully that'll be enough fuel to get us through to the end. And I do remember it saying on a loading screen, save money for upgrades, whatever that means. Don't know what I'm upgrading. We'll try to save some money for it. Let's go ahead and head out. We'll have a safe trip. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do my best. There's a refueling place here and another one of those little weird symbols. So we're going to try to find the weird symbol. 
as best we can. Now, real quick, let's head on over here. Shoot out some, uh, some little flares. Nothing to it. All right. You're going to be hungry. I'll get you some food going. What about you? Nothing right now, huh? All right. Hey, who wants some lunch? Is it you? Oh, you want some lunch next? You got it. Ah, there we go. Feed you up here, cat person. Let's go a little faster for a hot minute. See if we can't uh, shave off some time. Dude, that burns through our fuel so fast. Oh, I can pick you up and then put you down, and then we're gonna dance. Boom, doom, boom, doom, doom, boom, doom, doom. Alright, we're done. So I have to quit using the speed up because the speed up is hurting me. Oh, here we go. Low fuel, that's okay. It's not that low. I want to know what this is. I can see your communicator is currently turned off. Unless you first turn it on through your reactor, you won't be able to dock here. Oh. I don't have enough power. So can I... Yeah. You're right. No, no, no. I understand what I've done wrong here. We're gonna turn off the navigation, but we're gonna turn around and then go back and call. Should be about right here. Nope. Turn. And then call. Turn that off, turn that on. Go, 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 go. Talk, talk, talk. Hey, we did it. What does this do? Is it still using our fuel? I don't know what's happened. Something terrible has happened. Um, we have to go for the fueling place. We have to go for it and we gotta hope. We just gotta hope. Come on, get there. Turn this off. No! Game over? What do you mean game over? Passengers reportedly started to eat ship parts after being adrift for six hours. So it seems you've had a bit of trouble here. We're sending a rescue bear team to return you to base. Unfortunately, you will use all the money you're carrying. Also, since the ship is uninsured, it is lost. See you back at base. Well, sorry, bro. I was a little impatient. It was a rough one. This ship wasn't insured, so I had to get another one. Let's try not to lose this one. Okay. Let's go back and embark real quick. All right, so we've learned don't try to go faster because it burns through all your fuel. Uh, you seem to use extra fuel when trying to go forward. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna throw up our radar, pick the right direction to go, and then maybe even shut our radar off for a large chunk of the trip. Because the thing is, We don't actually need it. And if that will reduce our power consumption, like if we turn off the helm, will we still be going forward? 
It seems that way. You want food? Okay, okay. I got you. I got you, boo. You want some entertainment? I'll dance while I'm cooking. Dance while I'm cooking. Dance in the kitchen. All right, let's go feed this guy. There you go, jabroni. You're good. You're good. Go ahead and turn this back on. We're basically there. Turn on the helm. Steer us right on in. All right, not even half a fuel bar. Not bad, not bad, okay. We're already getting a hang of it. It's manageable right now. I feel like later it's not gonna be doable with one human, but could be proven wrong. Could be proven wrong. Budget score being star ways. Do you wanna to get to the stars, but you just don't got the money to get out there and do what you think you need to do? Well, come on over to Budget Starways because we'll get you right to the near star that you need to go to at a price that you can afford. Do you work hard? Do you bust your butt? Do you hurt your back at work? Because work is so difficult. Who? yeah, blue collar. And now we'll help you get on vacation where you can rest your back. I don't... I don't know. I don't know why or how. But it is how it is. So, let us see here. We have 40 bucks and it's time to go. Give me a need. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, hold up, hold up. We're going to rescue this person. How far? Turn this off. Gotta get ready to call him. Turn that on. Cook up a meal. Pop on that phone. We're gonna dock. We're gonna feed him. Oh, so if I don't answer the phone quick enough, I lose the ability, huh? Let's try again. One chance and we're done, huh? Wow, dude. That's rough. Okay. Well, now I know for the future. Uh, okay, well, we wasted a bunch of fuel doing that nonsense, and now we're going the wrong way. Whoa, too far, too far, too far. I think that should be about right. Man, what a bummer. All right. You need some entertainment, like some, uh, some wop top, some whoop a doop, some shwibbity shwap. Shoop, bop, 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 shoop, bop, 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 shoop, shoop. Hold on, buddy. All right, we're gonna try again on this. Fly away a little bit. Hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. We're headed back, okay. We're headed back, get off. Power off, power on. Go, go. Okay, and then now we have to answer the phone call. Alien gets on board. Turn off phone, turn on radar. Scan for home base fly that direction. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're already in a better position than we were last time. Nailed it. Hopefully this extra money will allow us to fill up. We're filling our fuel tank up to 100% this time. Ticket price plus 50%. Needed it. 
Delayed penalty. Oh. Hurts. That's okay. We got the money, though. We got that money. Got a little bit of that paper. All right. Now, get me in here. Let's go get... This fuel. 100% fuel. Confirm it. Fill her up. That's what I want to see. All right, let's go. We still have 65 bucks and we're about to get paid again. Going into this next level. We're going to try to save these bonus people too. If we can. Let's see what we're working with on our next uh, route. All right. 30 bucks a ticket, two passengers, and there's someone we can save and a fuel depot. We hopefully will not need the fuel depot, but if it's right next to the exit, we'll use it. We'll top off. I could be going faster and burning fuel to get there quicker, but I'm going to try not to do that. Now, real quick, let's go ahead and fire off. We're just... All we know is we're going roughly that direction. Okay, now you, you need nothing right now. You, entertainment. How about a little dance? How about a little dance? Y'all dancing with me? Uh-huh. Okay, this mush. Ain't no holler back, girl. You feeling better now? Okay. You're hungry. All right, I'll start making you some food. Let me pop off uh, on all of this stuff. Ooh, meteors. All right, we're gonna veer to the left ever so slightly, try to avoid all this nonsense. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, oh God, it's broken. Uh, it's broken. Um, okay, repair, repair, repair. Put it back. Take some food, throw some food on. Uh, power off, power on. Go, 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 dock. Dock me, dock me. What's wrong with you? You're also hungry? No, 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 I need the food. Ah, son of a fart. Turn off this. Turn this on. Grab the food. Feed this person. Turn, turn. Uh, hit him with that radar blast. Hit him with that radar blast. Okay, we're gonna head left. Like right through there. And then this guy's bored. He needs some dances. He needs some dancing. Some dancing. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Perfect. Okay. And then turn this off. Turn this on. Hit that call. Get in there. Answer the phone. Get on board. Turn that off. Turn this on. Where do I need to go? Uh, what's this? What's in front of me? Oh my god, it's another fuel depot! Turn this off, turn this on! Call! Answer the call! Answer it! Fill me up! Confirmed! Turn this off! Turn this, turn this on! 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 We're gonna dance! We're gonna dance! We're gonna dance! We're gonna dance! Dance! And dance! And dance, and dance. Dance, 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 dance. Oh God, he wants food. All right, don't worry, buddy. I'm cooking you up some food. All right, we're good, we're good. Dance, and dance. Okay, okay, we made it. Woo. I can already tell this game is going to make me insane. Hey, we arrived on time too. Even with just one other person, this would be a million times easier. We did it! Earned some good money. All right, what's, what happens between levels? Congratulations, flight crew, and welcome. You've arrived on a glorious space terminal. The company is proud of you. Make yourself at home. I'll meet you at the office when you disembark. So then what 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 does that mean? 
What's happening? What is this game? We're at the company terminal. Welcome to the new company terminal. Corporate has just purchased this entire section of the spaceport to become our new center of operations. Apparently, some other company got shut down by the health inspection and was selling it for cheap. Amateurs. I mean, how hard can it be? Anyway, this is the real deal now. As a certified attendant, you get to start making the company real money. You'll be taking on our busiest route to Planet Gambulon 5, the galaxy's most popular tourist destination at the heart of the vacation sector. A route known to be both highly profitable and extremely dangerous, which is why not many companies are attempt to go there, but we're better than that. In this company, we are willing to let you take that risk. So, first things first, you need to purchase a new Starliner for the company. Here are some funds. You can access your available ship blueprints by activate, uh, interacting with one of the three at the gate. Get to one of the gates. Interesting. We can customize space line. We can change our the name, the logo, the colors. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's 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 change it real quick. Let's see what the options are. Let's go with the change the logo. Oh, okay. Oh, and we got some locked ones. Uh, I, I mean, I honestly don't mind the logo until I unlock some new ones. And I don't mind the colors either. The only thing that it might change would be like, yeah, the little eyeball. Colors are all locked. Hook me up with this one. Nice. BS. And you know what? Let's get rid of, oh, it's random names. Hmm. Ultra Blorg Cosmoline. Laser McSpace Rocketways. Love it. Laser McSpace. We were founded by Laser McSpace. News, news. Ow. I tripped. Fell on my face. I want to go buy a ship. Let me go buy a ship. Ship, 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 ship. What are you? Gate three, an empty lot. But I feel like I should go to gate one. Shouldn't I? Is it wrong to go to gate three? Is there anything down here? Or is this just like a big empty space where I can't really do anything? What are you? Oh, deposit and withdraw money. Interesting. And then what are you, gate one? Okay, let's shop. These are the available ship construction blueprints. By traveling around space, you'll find blueprints for bigger and better models, so keep an eye out for lost parcels. Now, choose a blueprint. Nice, dude. Look at this. Okay. A lot of unlocks going on here. They look the same to me. Okay, the insides are slightly different. Can I just stay on the insides? A seated version of Senblarg's starter ship. Great for beginners who want to provide comfort on a budget. Oh, so there's comfort for the people. A basic model fitted with an internal lavatory system. Perfect for pilots who don't want to make too many bathroom stops. Or an entry level model fitted with an upgraded catering system and an internal layout optimized for feeding passengers. Interesting. I don't want to stop to use the bathroom. Although it might be easier to just not have to entertain people. So let's go ahead and do that one. Here you can expect all the model stats and installed systems before you decide to purchase it. If you think this one suits you, patch sway. Look at this. Can I move any of this stuff? I like that all the things that might break are a lot closer to the wrench in this one and the seating is kind of like way off in the back where I don't really have to worry about it too much. Communications are in a pretty good spot. Paint job. Oh. Oh, I can't paint it. Um, I can't 
customize it. I was really hoping I'd be able to customize like the layout or something a little bit, but it's still really cool. Good job, employee. You've just bought your first ship. Do any more preparation you deem necessary before your trip, then just proceed to the gate. Okay, that's awesome. And then real quick, let's just try to chuck our remaining money in here. Yeah, let's deposit all 151 bucks. Nice, okay. Well, I think that we're gonna go ahead and call it right there. I mean, you kind of see what you're getting here. This is a lot cooler space lines. Um, this game has actually been really awesome. This is something I'm definitely gonna play with my son and I don't think will infuriate me in the same way that Overcooked does. At least I sincerely hope. So we'll see what it is and um, I wanna see what else there is to it. There seem to be some unlocks and some progress that you can make outside of the game. And I'm interested to see where that goes. So go check the game out for yourself. Space Lines, it's on Game Pass right now and enjoy, play with a friend. So thank you so much for joining me. Put some good out in the world and I hope some good comes back to you. And I cannot wait. See you in the next one. Goodbye.